Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and today I'm going to show you how to send and receive a fax from your Gmail account. And this could go for any email account, it doesn't have to be Gmail, I'm just doing it with Gmail because that's what I use. I was just doing some research on this subject and I was disgusted at how bad the tutorials were for sending and receiving faxes. They were all trying to sell you this fax system and that fax system and they're just horrible. So here's the honest truth. I hope you enjoy it, hope it helps. It's definitely a cool feature and enjoy. Okay, so two things I want to preface with. First of all, this is AnsonAlex.com. That's all I'm selling you on is check out AnsonAlex.com. I have a lot of tutorials and cool stuff like that. No, but really. Okay, so to receive faxes with Gmail, you can do so completely for free. I use eFax.com. Okay, you can sign up and you get a fax number. I've had it for years. If somebody needs to send me a fax, I just give them my fax number and they send it to me and it comes to my Gmail account. So that works great. Now, unfortunately, sending faxes is, is a little bit more difficult. And if you've seen some other tutorials where they say you have to sign up for a fax service, it's true, you do. Okay, there's no way around that. I wish I could just magically wave my wand and all of a sudden you could send faxes out of Gmail. No problem, it'd be free, but you can't do that. So the one thing I do wanna clear up is once you do sign up for a service, it doesn't matter what service, I don't really send faxes out of my Gmail, so I don't even use it. I just signed up and did it so I could figure out how to do it for this tutorial. Um, so I don't care which one you use. I use eFax for free to receive faxes. Sending them, that's up to you. However, in the tutorials we've seen, people say, okay, so you go to Compose Mail, and then you enter the fax number followed by the domain. And you're like, well, what the heck? Fax numbers don't come with domains. So I'm just gonna make up a number. Let's say the fax number is 1-800-967-4135. Please don't call that number. I have no idea where that number goes. I don't wanna get in trouble here, okay? And then they say, okay, well then you just enter the domain. But you don't get a domain when you get a fax number. So where does the domain come from? That's what I was wondering, and I figured it out. It's pretty easy, this domain comes from whatever service you sign up for. It's not the domain of the person you're sending the fax to. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna enter the fax number of the person you're sending the fax to, and then whichever service you sign up for is gonna tell you a domain to enter in there. And so it's gonna send it to say efax.com. Efax.com is gonna convert that into a normal fax, and it's gonna send it to this number. So you can still send a fax to any normal fax number that you have using Gmail. Because when I watched these tutorials, I was like, well, I, fax numbers don't come with a domain. Where is the domain coming from? That's where it's coming from. Unfortunately, I don't have a free solution to send faxes for you. I wish I did, like I said. Um, but when you do see that in the other tutorials or wherever you're looking, that's what it is. Once you, once you sign up for one of these services, like I said, it could be eFax. That was kind of expensive. I would maybe even try a different one. I, I don't know. Um, but once you sign up for one of these services, you're just going to enter the person's fax number at whatever domain you've signed up for. It'll convert it for you. You can send the fax, but definitely get a free fax number. Um, well, I receive faxes for AntsonAlex.com all the time through email. It's 100% free, has been for years. So um, hope it helps. If you like this video, if it helped you at all, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. If you wanna see more technology tutorials, Google Docs stuff, anything like that, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you tonight. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.